What's up guys? Um, today I thought about doing something a little bit different. i um, going to be going over just a few modifications that I have for my Red Cat Gen 8 um, RC truck. So um, right off the bat I've got the front um, kicks bumper off of Amazon and attached to it I have one of the um, just uh, I guess antennas or add-on antennas that kind of just hang out on the front. I put it on the front because I wanted to have it look like one of the desert off-roaders, but I might try and find a way to move it to the back. So um, then when we go onto the back, got the Kicks rear bumper also from Amazon, and I've even got the tow hook on it. I don't have any trailer or anything, but you know, for the future if I decide to make one or get one, then I have that option. For the uh, roof, I've got a roof rack also from Amazon. Um, and I was gonna do a light bar on it, but I found an easy, easier thing to do. It's just a little hat clip from Walmart, one of the Ozark trails, and it's an LED headlamp. And as you can see, it's kind of small. I could get a couple of them on there and it would look a little bit better, but really cost efficient i guess and literally anybody could go and pick this up and make it so at home led light so with that being said as far as anything else goes the inside the interior i guess is all stock um kind of messy i do need to get a waterproof esc box the one on this one ended up falling off as you can see but I don't have anything else done. But today, um, actually I do. I've got the brass wheel weights on all four wheels. And I have noticed a significant difference between these. <clears throat> and I mean, it's quite heavy as it is. But today, I'm going to go ahead and throw some new shocks on here. These are just some cheap shocks that I found off Amazon as well. We're gonna try and throw those on and then also some brass diff covers for the front and rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get those installed and yeah. So to make this easier I just got my um, mini lift out. I'm gonna throw this on there in a second. But um, as you can see the front diff cover is the same as the rear, um, so I'm not going to be too picky on how I put that on there, so uh, let me get started. I'll just get one of these off and show you uh, where to go. Alright, so I've got all the bolts out except for one last one on the front. Go ahead and get that out. I've got my metal pan here to catch these as they fall. Almost. There we go. And, wow. It's actually the first time I've opened up the diff and it's still got plenty of oil and um, lube around there. I mean, I've never really had any grinding issues or anything like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and slap on the uh, front brass cover. And if it breaks, guess what? I'll upgrade it. So um, it would have been easier, I guess, to just take off the steering rack, but um, it literally just slides right on there. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and bolt this one back down, start on the rear, and um, then maybe start on the shocks. So again, for the rear, got all six bolts removed and pulls off just like that and still nicely lubed up. I don't see any um, <clears throat> metal shavings or anything like that. So I'm um, just gonna go ahead and slap on the new rear brass covers. Oops help if I had two hands I guess. All right so got the rear brass diff cover on and now I'm going to go ahead and remove the rear shocks and it's just one here. 
one here to remove, and then I'll go ahead and unscrew it from the um, shock towers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and get those inserted, as it's a lot easier to do this with uh, both hands. And I believe I'll just have to pop those out, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can figure out with these. So I got the um, passenger side rear off, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wiggle this around and it's off. So yeah, it's what you do to get these off and now to find the bolt that just dropped and put the new ones on as long as they fit. So um, the new suspension is somewhat similar. I mean, I can't tell much of a difference other than the color and uh, this bottom portion. So on the new ones, it comes with, uh, you'll have to forgive me, I don't really even know what that is. Kind of just like a little extra uh, area for the bolt to go in. And on the original, there wasn't one. So as you can see, the original just kind of slides right over that and clips on there. Well. I had to take that one off because again these will not go around that too small so all I did was take a, a 332 of an inch or whatever it would be uh, Allen wrench and got it loose and uh, it's kind of time consuming I don't want to waste any more time on this video so I'm just gonna have to do that with all of these to get the new ones and thankfully these came with new bolts that I can just slide right on there and um, everything will be all right. So I'll get back to you whenever I get this put together. All right, so to keep this video short, I got the rears on all tightened down and the tops mounted where the original was. And um, yeah, just gonna do the same thing on the front. A lot easier to remove the tires. And uh, I'll show you the end and just go over one last thing about the red cap. Well, maybe I was a little bit misleading. So apparently on these um, shocks, the very bottom, you can actually push that piece out and attach these to the original um, bolts that are already in there. As you can see, I got the very front driver's side uh, bolted in and all I gotta do is attach it to the top. So this one's gonna be a little bit different because I've got part of the steering link kind of in such a weird angle might have to just um put some wd-40 and extra lube on there and just get it around there so once i get this on I'll go ahead and uh do the last overview all right finally got the front set of shocks mounted um and yeah this thing is awesome i'm not gonna be able to do a uh, driving video with this today just because it's laid out and um, I was just kind of throwing this together but yeah here it is in all its glory we got the new shocks on the brass diff covers on the front and rear and this thing is just looking awesome um, some I guess a little bit of backstory on this I got this truck completely stock my first RC crawler um, that I didn't build um, came completely stock. I've added all these small upgrades to it. Everything from the servo, the ESC, and the motor are all stock. Um, I'm not going to do anything with those until I happen to blow them up or they just happen to die. But again, right out of the box, this truck is absolutely awesome. And with a few minor upgrades like these, it becomes a tank. And this thing is just really, really cool. So I plan on doing a few more RC videos. Um, definitely with these. And uh, there's your cheap Walmart light. I already died on me. I have to just put a new battery in there. Oh, there it goes. But uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Plan on doing a few more. I'll go over my other RC cars and what I have done to them. So yeah, talk to you guys later.
Uh, I did actually forget to mention one thing. These tires are off of a Traxxas TRX4 tactical version. So yeah, those are not the original wheels and tires. So yeah, all right, now I'm done. Thanks guys.